Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I'm a full-time reseller. And Monday mornings, I like to do a what sold with me over the weekend. So Saturday and Sunday's sales. So today I have just under 300 sales. I'm going to show you um, what I sold and how much it sold for. So you can find me on Poshmark and eBay. My username is MCWare for you, but I will link my closets in my eBay store in the descriptions if you are interested in checking out. Please, please, please like and subscribe. I'm hoping by the end of the year I have a number in mind. Um, I do reselling videos and I also do beauty, um, beauty videos and reviews and stuff like that. All that good stuff. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm just going to go. I have everything laid on the table, so I'm just going to kind of chit chat and wrap. Um... And so the first thing I sold on, let's see, is sold on eBay. And I'm gonna have to insert pictures um, on either side when I edit it because I, I pre-wrap everything. So I sold this plus size cozy corner long black nylon nightgown. And so I sold this on eBay for $30 and it left me with a profit of $24. And I ship um ground on ebay just to save the buyer's money basically because priority mail has gotten pretty insane so everything on poshmark goes out um priority mail but on ebay unless someone says or has a request i i ship ground and it saves the buyer's money and so this is going to georgia this little nightgown and um if i would have shipped it priority it probably would have been close to ten dollars but ground is usually half, so that's pretty good. So that's one sale down. How is everybody doing if you are a reseller? Comment below if you're a reseller so I could check out your stores. So the next item was this Adrian Papel. Again, I will insert picture. I'm not sure where, where I'm editing. Um, it's an Adrian Papel. Very long um, prom dress prom slash wedding it's sequin and it's going to maryland and so i buy um i buy lots of prom dresses and wedding wedding dresses it's like a gold silvery one it's all sequin it's very pretty and it was a size 18 gotta get this here which is a very good size a good size fyi to pick up most resellers know that plus size does a little bit better than regular the larger the size, the better it seems to sell, unless it's like a designer item. So someone just came and outright bought it for $89, which left me with a $71 profit. Marilyn. And again, that sold on Poshmark. So we got one eBay, one Posh. The next one was also Posh. And this is a turtleneck wool Land's End um, sweater. Okay? popcorn stitch and I'm just trying to see what bag am I going to put this in because it's it's pretty big I'm going to see if I can put it in here but I'm not really sure so this sold going to Boise Idaho lands and plus size and it sold for $30 and it left me with a profit of 24 there it fits or as they say if it fits it ships okay I think um Chris from the Daily Refinement used to say that when I would watch his videos uh, way, way back in the day when he first started. Okay, so that is done. All right, so next I'm going to do this little jewelry. Okay, so it was, oh, here it's open so I could show you this. So these were two pairs of earrings. I only sell my jewelry on Poshmark. And it, they are buy one, get one free because I buy them in bulk. Little tortoise shell. I slip them in with some Easter drafts. I throw some stickers in there as well. And this is how I ship. Um, I put a sticker. Let's put a sticker. Um, I will link my packaging stuff in the description if you are interested in, you know, these little, little packs. So let's see. So I sold the earrings. They were $15 each. But since I do sell them, buy one, get one free. I sent an offer for $15 for both pairs, which she accepted. And it left me with a, let's see what profit. Left me with a $12 profit for two pairs of earrings, $6 each, which is okay by me because I do usually pay pennies on the dollar because I buy them in bulk. All right. So.
so there we have it. My hair in there. Okay. Anywho, so there's that. And that is going to Nebraska. All right, so next, kind of went back and forth with this young lady. Blue, size 11, baby blue Converse. I originally bought these secondhand. I still thrifted them, but I bought them for myself, thinking that I could um, wear Converse, and I really can't. I just feel like a teenager in Converse, and I know there's ageism and everything, but I don't feel my best in Converse. So anyways, I put them up. They're just beautiful. They're just, they're really pretty. They're blue and silver uh, glitter. And so I went back and forth. I think she offered me originally 20. And with uh, fees, you know, that wouldn't have left me with very much. So I counted her 25, basically. And she accepted, which left me with a $20 profit. And that was Poshmark. And they are going to Mississippi. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five packages down. All right. So next we're going to do some more earrings. Or nope, it's not earrings. It's a puka. There goes the label. A white puka shell. They're usually, um, I don't know where you buy them actually. I think Hawaii maybe, or just like little, they're real puka shells here. That's what they look like. And, um, they were really popular in the 80s, like very surfy, surfer, surfer girl or surfer guy. So anyways, getting getting right along here. I need some more envelopes, which I do not have. So oops, use some bubble wrap. Um, so anyways, OK, so she bought this for 13, which left me with an eight dollar profit. And I need I need a bag on a momento. Here we go. Bag. Okay. So it's just one little necklace. I gave her some free stickers. Um, I asked her, you know, if she would have brought it for $15 full price, it would have been buy one, get one free, uh, making it $7.50, but she was not interested in anything else, which is fine. So, um, hence what's just one necklace. So, and that is going to Indiana. All right. So, what next? Okay, ballerina shoes. Little ballerina shoes. Um, when I first started back up heavy and reselling, I bought these, so I have been sitting on them. They are the ballerina pink, and they're called Michelle D. They are genuine leather. And um, I saw, I think it was like Chris from the Daily Refinement back in the day, used to, to hold them together so they're easier to find in the bins behind me. All the bins i have 11 of those type of bins and um when you use saran wrap it holds them together and it doesn't ruin the shoes or anything so these sold for 35 with which left me with a 28 dollar profit and let's see here and i and like i said i originally bought them for myself but um they were too big even though they were my size i think i'm just losing size in my feet they say that happens. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they sold for 35 and I got a profit of 28 and I'm not sure how I'm going to ship them yet, so I'm going to put them aside. And moving right along. Okay, my eBay sale. 5X Holy Clothing. Again, um, I'm going to be, if I'm not showing it to you, I'm going to be editing in a picture of the item. So this is a 5X holy clothing, which just, it's very, very beautiful. It's very um, Renaissance look with tons of embroidery and velvet. And I don't think the company's even around anymore. When I first started selling on eBay back in 1999, ancient, I used to find that brand so much and it was so popular. And then I don't know what happened, but going to Texas. So I had... Um, I had this top because of the rarity of it. I had it listed for $75 and someone offered $59, which I took, and that left me with a $51 profit. Moving right along are these insanely sexy little red dingo ladies boots in size nine and a half. They are beautiful. Again, ugh, if I was 
more of a country girl, I would be wearing these. I love, love, I love cowboy boots. I love seeing them on men. I love seeing them on women. They look so nice and classy in a country way, but I feel like a fool wearing them because um, I'm originally from New England and I just feel, I don't know. I feel like you should wear what you want, but I do feel foolish wearing them, so I don't. Okay. Anywho, that was red suede, very well made, size nine and a half, and they sold for $70, which left me with a, I think it says 56 or $66. I think it says $56 profit. And they are going to, oh my goodness, they're going to St. Petersburg, Florida. How about that? Um, that's where my mom lives. And I've been many times. Let's see. Okay, so this is the last thing I am shipping in a priority mail box because these boots are just gorgeous and I don't want anything to happen with them. So I think I'm going to stuff them with some paper, some nice, pretty nude paper. Each boot is going to get stuffed. There we go. And then I'm going to actually take it a little bit further. Let me put the label on it. Okay. All right, so paper, wrapping paper. Again, I will link it, it's from Amazon and it's very reasonably priced and you just wrap it, make it look nice. And then the other one as well. Wrap her up. So yeah, people are still buying winter stuff. I mean, we are in May now, and I'm not sure if it's just shopaholics or what, but I'm still selling, ooh, that seems like I have too much paper in there. I'm still selling winter stuff as in cashmere, wool, boots, you know, that type of stuff. I've got too much paper in there. And so, I'm still selling winter stuff, so I'm still buying winter stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, a lot of resellers say don't buy winter stuff, only buy summer stuff. Um, bathing suits and tank tops and shorts. And um, maybe they're just telling you that so that they could... Um, and I'm a reseller. <laughs> maybe they're just telling you that so that they could find the, winter, the good winter stuff to buy. I don't know. And then in the winter time, you know, most resellers, if not all, um, I mean, I don't, not all, but, or, and in the winter time, they tell you not to pick up summer stuff. So I don't know, but I sell winter and summer stuff year round, so I pick it up year round if I find it. Um, I'm trying something new when I go sourcing. I'm going sourcing about three times a week, once with my daughter and two other times. There we go. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to leave the store with 10 things. It's feasible. 10, 10 things each time, 10, 20, 30. And so I don't always find 10 things. Lots of times it's five or six things. But my goal when I go into a thrift store is, okay, let me find 10 things, um, to resell and let me find those 10 things I can get at least $25 for. So anywho, there you have it. If you have any other questions or anything regarding reselling, let me know because I feel like I'm a senior reseller. I've been selling for so long, but there's always room for improvement. And so I don't want to get stagnant in my reselling. So, okay, that's it for now. Enough rumbling. And I will see you in a couple weeks because my stores are actually going to be closed for a couple weeks. Um... So I can do inventory and just a whole bunch of stuff, different stuff. So anyways, um, I will be back um, two, three, two or three weeks actually. But I'm still going to be uploading videos that I've pre-filmed. So there you have it. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you if you are still here at 14 minutes. And I will talk to you later. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.